G'day fellow professional hobby machinists. Today I'll be making a set of soft jaws for my vice. I'm using 20 mil thick aluminium. I just have to dodge the holes out of this piece that used to be something else. I managed for many years without a bandsaw, but now I've got it. Oh, use it all the time. Quick flip and do the other side. My vise is a 100mm wide and there's just enough space to dodge these two holes. Yeah, that's lucky. And ka -ching. A quick square up of the block with my favourite milling cutter. This is my homemade height gauge and scriber. Uh, if you want to see some pictures of it without rust, go to my homepage in homemadetools.net. These V's are just for a visual reference. My main milling vise, I've put a bar onto the bottom. It, it's a permanent fixture. It keeps it trammed. Now I have to figure out how to mount the material onto the mill. Nah, too much trouble. Got a better idea. This vice I've had for about 30 years. I don't trust the scale, so I'm going to set it manually and see how far out it is. Lucky I did, even though it's lost its point, it appears that uh, the scale's about one degree out. A quick tram and we're good to go. I started cutting with Old Faithful when I realised it was going to cut into the vise, so I swapped out for a two flute carbide cutter. Well there's one side done. I'm using the z-axis clamp to repeat the same depth. I'm taking half mil cuts but I'm pretty sure this mill can handle one mil without too much bitching. When I use the mill I always forget to put paper towels or plastic bags down for easy cleanup. Duh. Yeah, carbide two flutes are my favourite cutter at the moment. Good finish. I'm using this student vise to set up the material for this 20mm deep cut. It wasn't spot on, so while it's still set up, I'm going to guesstimate the proper angle and flip her over and see how we go. There's probably a better way to set this up exactly but 
I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, this second cut turned out much closer than the first. Yay! I couldn't figure out how to do the short leg, so I'd go back to the good old hacksaw. Gee, I'm all over the place. Out of practice. When the cut was fairly close, I used the bend up and down trick to snap it off. Just for a bit of material. What an idiot. So, back to Old Faithful uh, to square it up and give it a reasonably decent finish. It was getting late last night, so I put a note on here to say cut this before taking out of the vise the next day. Here I'm setting up to drill two two millimeter holes, 15 mil from each end. This is to take the uh, two and a half mil thread to hold the magnets in place. Two mil drill all the way through. The magnets are three mil by eight. Here I'm using a two flute carbide, eight millimeter, to dig the ditch for the magnets. Got a bit grumpy at the end there. I don't know why. Too fast, too slow. Whatever. I have to calculate how many turns it takes to get to 70 mil. So it's 46 turns, 0.66. So the 0.66 is 49.5 divisions. This is my um, backlash chart. On the X, I've got 14. So I've got to factor that in to the um, calculations. Pain in the ass. It's about this time I figured that this is why people put DROs on their mini mills. This may even be the theme of my next video. Stay tuned, viewers. Scribing a couple of lines so I can slice this down the middle. Time to put the 2.5 mil thread to hold the magnets. With small taps, I prefer to hold the job in my hand, less chance of snapping them. I'm using a center drill to get rid of the burrs. And 
and install the magnets. I'm going to try to trim the screws and finish the jaws at the same time. Yep, that was the screw. I'm surprised the cutter didn't handle this as well as I thought. Well, that's a bloody mess. I'm going to have to take the screws out. Yeah, I know. I'm lazy. So I'm just going to have to finish it without the screws and adjust the screws by hand. I think I might have chipped the cutter when I hit the screws but it's given me this really cool engine turn look so I'm going to tell everybody I did it deliberately. These jaws are going to be drilled, filed, sawed, banged, dented so not real worried about the finish. While it's still set up I thought I'd do the end bevels So, time for a road test. The magnets hold on really nice. Yeah, that'll do. See you next time, guys. Cheers.